I've missed you, gentlemen. And we you. <laughs> Welcome to another Mass Pirates member meeting on November 16th, starting at a little after 9 <laughs> p.m. Eastern Standard Time. How's everybody? Um, I am good, all things considered. Yeah, doing all right here. There's a, there's a lot of weighted weightedness on all things considered. <laughs> I've been through a lot these past few weeks, and I'll leave it at that. You know, uh, I think this party knows more about my personal life than they most people really ever need to. Well, hope all goes well. Uh, things are better. You know, they say that if you have a stressful life, that means God just really believes in you. I wish he le believed in me just ever so slightly less. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, all right. So reports. Uh, I will go first. Um I will leave it for the Anarchist Book Fair recap, because <laughs> that's most of what I did <laughs> last few weeks. Anyone else have anything to report? Nothing here. All right. So, so yeah, Joe? Uh, I've been mostly mm -hmm. under a rock these last few weeks, so I, I don't really have nothing either. Okay. All right, so decision endorsements. Um, the uh, various lawmakers have put forth the Government Surveillance Reform Act, JISRA. <laughs> and so uh, we've been asked if we want to endorse it. Um, so there's a quick summary. Let me, I'll open that up. Um, it looks like they're trying to do the maximalist uh, request. Yeah, I uh, read just, like, tweaking it. So yeah, I read um, Epic's uh, the Electronic Privacy Information Center's summary, um, and I yeah I it's like wow, there's a government surveillance bill with some good stuff in it. <laughs> Um, yeah, Section 702 is going to uh, expire uh, on the 31st of December. So, you know, they put forward, put this forward in the hopes that it will gain some traction. Uh, and what we won't just go with automatic renewal. Mm -hmm. Uh, so summary, it fixes the backdoor search loophole, prohibits warrantless searches for American communications and other protected information, strengthens Section 702 safeguards, limits the use of Section 702 information about Americans to specific national security contexts. Um, yeah, so EO, that's Executive Order 12, uh, 333 um, is uh, something the presidents always renew um, and this would in terms of going out and spying on people ostensibly for national security reasons and so this would put some safeguards on that um, you know backdoor searches no backdoor searches which would be nice um, no data, no, can't use data brokers, um, prohibits other warrantless foreign surveillance intelligence. I thought the one about automobile telemetry was also kind of cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, so, Joe, do you have any thoughts? Yay, nay, I mean, I like the strength and accountability of misuse. You know, reading that right there at the bottom. You know, I mean, we should have really defined 
things of what happens if somebody takes this and doesn't hold themselves to the higher standard of accountability and duty, you know. So, section 211. Yeah, that would certainly be nice. <clears throat> Heaven knows we don't have a lot of accountability for high, people higher up. Oh, this would good. This would be good. Searches now would require a warrant. And ooh, stinger, stingrays. <laughs> I mean, if you really think about it, law should really be the bare minimum of what you need to have happen. You know, but I mean, there should always ethics should always be higher than what the bare minimum is. And the fact that they're putting this stuff in now. And we're getting it written out and just goes to show you that even though there are sacrifices like Ch Chelsea Manning and uh, as well as many other behind the scenes that you don't even see, at least there's some forward progress into taking the right steps to make sure that this, there's accountability in it, you know. So are you in favor of endorsing this? Yeah, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Well, I like what I see so far. I have not fully digested or read it yet. So would you rather sit on it for two weeks or would and come back the next meeting, or would you rather just sign off on it and if we could always pull, pull it if we decide it doesn't go far enough? Have you gentlemen both read it? I've read I would... this. Sorry, go, Steve. No, uh, you first, Jamie. Uh, I've read this. I've read this summary, and it it has a lot of good things. So, as much as I would love to endorse it, never sign your name to something you have not read. Um, it seems to be an old, old wise adage, because that's how they slip in things that necessarily so. If neither one of you gentlemen have fully read it, um, as much as I would love to put my love and backing behind it, if we haven't fully read it, then I would rather have us fully read it so we know exactly what it is. That's fine with me. Are you fine with that, Steve? Yep, uh, we can postpone until next week. Okay. Um, all right. Well, next week is... Thanksgiving, so it'd be the week after. Oh, yeah. Um, I I regret that I have not done any further updates to the statement on the Israel Gaza conflict, nor even looked at it. Is it okay if we defer that another two weeks? I'm fine with that as well. Yeah, I just pulled that up. I'll I'll hammer some stuff on it tonight. Okay, thank you. Um, or alternatively, we can deal with it over email and see if we can come to a consensus on that. So, uh, Joe, do you know of any U.S. Pirate Party issues we should look at? Um, I've been under a rock with them as well. I know that coming up, they are trying to sign in a new swarm care manager. They haven't fired me for dereliction of duty quite yet. I also sent over most of the documents for the Treasury for the U.S. Pirate Party over to the auditor. He's going to create a budget and basically do do almost like deputy stuff for the Treasury for the National Committee, um, which is kind of nice and refreshing. Um, and then, then maybe we can do something with that. Um, and that's pretty much all I know what's going on. I know Drew's been running it, but the last couple of meetings haven't really been haven't been as organized as it was under AJ. However, um, there's still a lot of excitement there. Committees are still doing stuff. I'm sure Drew's just getting his feet wet. I'm sure once he gets the ball rolling, you know. All right. Uh, 
Will you be able to attend the meeting on Sunday or do you yes. need someone else? Yes, you can. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, I'm going to attend it. I, I will have babies, but I will figure out a way. Okay. Especially now that I have a working laptop that actually, um, actually works. Uh, also, in terms of the donations, I still have a few of the spare parts from the donations from before. Like, I have a random monitor that he threw in with spare parts that wasn't attached to any computers. Um, I don't really have need of a spare monitor, nor did the place want to just take a random monitor. Um, do you guys know of any need for, like, an old monitor? I'm sure we can find someone I might who, be able to who would have use of it. I know I still have some other stuff that needs to go to better homes. So, You know, um, yeah, if, if it's a full computer, I know that the homeless transitional living, the homeless is not correct, the transitional living center uh, in Lowell always is happy to take stuff like that, help people get on their feet. Um, so that's one avenue. Another one is, um, um, the, one of the places we donated some overflow cash that we got one year, the wish project, uh, right. Chelmsford. those places are generally pretty good about taking stuff like that. If it's in working order. Right. Um, And, yeah, so, again, sorry it's been a while, um, but I'm ready to work. Also, um, sorry I wasn't able to connect with you. It's still been a pretty, pretty hectic aftermath of things and, you know, always trials and tribulations, but I really do want to start working on a website soon. I think that would be great. You know. Find some time to get down to Boston. Yeah, I'll have to get some of those, talk with you about uh, places to donate some of the equipment that I have okay. that needs to go to better homes. If anyone's interested in computer equipment, it knows of nonprofits that need it, you can always send us email at info at masspirates.org, and we'll be happy to give them to a far better home. Um, so in terms of projects and events, uh, Steve, do you want to give a summary of the Anarchist Book Fair? Sure, I'm happy to. Um, so this was a, you know, it was a fully in-person book fair, which I don't think has happened for a few years uh, with the pandemic. Um, we were all masked and in a fairly well-ventilated area, but it, um, it drew quite a it drew a really decent crowd on um, on Saturday. We talked to a number of people, um, added some folks to our mailing list, um, had a good time sharing a table with our friends at warrantless.org, uh, or Digital Fourth, rather. Um, and yeah, I bought a bunch of books because, you know, it's a book fair. <laughs> Always with the books. Um, yeah, the thing that, that I would add, we, we um, signed up some folks. Uh, thank you, Steve, for entering that, those folks in. And um, we handed out, we had a new flyer that talked about protecting your privacy on one side and on the other side um, was about our efforts to map surveillance cameras and how people can help. And there are a lot of people who, especially when we, mentioned the, yeah, we have a project to map surveillance cameras. They were like, oh, we really need that. <laughs> so that seemed to be well, well greeted. Um, uh, so looking forward to it for next year. Um, so in terms of planning for 2024, I put together a list here. Um, just wanted to kind of throw those out. Um, and I'll put together a pirate pad and we can expand on that list. 
Um, the winter conference is scheduled for January, but we don't have a date yet. I got to put out a post and a survey about that before December. Um, and the video conference, are we fine for doing a, a video newsletter, uh, not video, a video newsletter this Sunday? Uh, yes, I am good to go for that. Likewise. Great. Uh, is there anything else to discuss? Anything else to add uh, to the agenda? Going back to what you were discussing earlier about the Israeli Gaza statement, um, did you want to post that to the list in order to get more input on it, or what were you thinking? I will repost it to the list, absolutely. Okay, then instead of working on it, I'll wait to hear back from the list before okay. cracking on it. Um, and then I know we kind of stalled on the Red Umbrella uh, summer event. We kind of never did it. Uh, do we want to table that till next year? Sure. I mean, we can we can add it that we can pick it up um, in the conference or the spring conference. Yeah, I mean, it's that's more of a warm weather event as yeah. opposed to when it's better cold like we did it last time. Right. Cold and rainy. All right, is there anything else to discuss? Uh, no, Nothing no. here. All right. Uh, motion to, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Second. All, great. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, folks. Uh, thank, <clears throat> thank you, Joe and Steve. Um, looking forward to talking with you on Sunday. And uh, I will... Thanks for folks viewing this in the in their in their uh, free time, or you know, taking time away from work. Always a good thing too. <laughs> so I'll stop the recording. Thank you. All right. Bye.